Hi everyone, I'm Gio Herrera. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel, Gio Zavaya How To. If you found my videos helpful, please hit subscribe and stay tuned for new videos. This video is part two of deploying Avaya Session Manager 7.1. In part two, we're going to deploy our Session Manager OVA onto our VMware platform. Let's go ahead and get started. Log into your VMware system and once logged in, click on Virtual Machines, then click on Create and Register VM. Next, click on Deploy a Virtual Machine from an OVF or OVA file, then click Next. Enter the name of your virtual machine, then click on the area below to select your OVA file. Then navigate to where you have your OVA file stored and select your OVA, click Open, then click Next. Under the Select Storage option, Choose your data store location. In my lab VM, I only have one, so I'm going to click Next. Under the License Agreement, I'm going to click on Agree, then click Next. Under Network Mapping, choose the correct subnet for your VM. In my lab server, I only have one routable network, so I'm going to choose it for my public and out-of-band management. Under Disk Provisioning, choose Thick. Under Power On Automatically, make sure it's checked, then click Next. On my lab server, I don't have the additional settings page where it allows you to put the network configuration information and the username and password. If you are deploying the OVA in your enterprise environment, expect to see the additional settings page. At this point, we are ready to deploy the OVA. My session manager has finished deploying and I'm going to log on to the session manager via the VM console by right clicking on my VM, navigating to console, then choosing launch remote console. I'm gonna get a pop-up launch application and I'm going to click on open link. This will open my VM console. Next, I'm going to configure my session manager. Once again, in your enterprise environment, you will most likely input the following network configuration settings in your VMware during the OVA deployment. I will be inputting the configuration settings via CLI in this example. Do you wish to configure your session manager VM now? I'm going to choose yes. Next, I'm going to enter the IP address of my session manager. Then I'm going to click on enter. Next, I'm going to enter the subnet mask. Next, I'm going to enter the default gateway. Do you wish to assign an IPv6 address? I'm going to choose no. Next, I'm going to enter the server's host name. Then I'm going to enter my network domain. I'm going to enter my primary DNS server IP address. I don't have a secondary DNS server, so I'm going to type none. I'm going to skip domain search list. Next, I'm going to choose my time zone. Next, it's telling me NTP is currently enabled. Would you like to disable it? I'm going to choose on no. And I'm going to put the IP address of my primary NTP server. Would you like to configure or change NTP authentication? I'm going to choose no. And I'm going to type none because I don't have a secondary NTP server. Next, it's asking me to verify my settings. Once I'm done verifying my settings, I'm going to press enter. At this point, it's validating the settings. It's going to let me know whether it was successful or not. It has finished validating the network settings and from past implementations, it's normal for DNS to fail. I'm using a third-party NTP server, so I'm not concerned that it failed. I'm going to press enter to continue with the configuration. Next, it's asking me to enter the login ID for the customer account, and I'm going to press enter to leave it at CUS. Next, I'm going to enter my password. I'm going to retype my password. Next, I'm going to enable EASG by typing yes. Then I'm going to enter the IP address of my system manager. Then I'm going to enter the enrollment password we created when we added our session manager to our system manager. At this point, our session manager is being added to our system manager. Our session manager network configuration has been successfully completed and our session manager has been added and synced to our system manager. Next, I have logged on to my system manager and I'm going to navigate to elements and click on session manager. Under the session manager dashboard, I can see that my session manager has limited connection because it's still in maintenance mode. I'm going to click on my newly added session manager. Then I'm going to change the service state to accept new service. Next, I'm going to confirm. My session manager is ready to accept new service. The error you see on the right is because I have not loaded my license yet. I'm going to click on refresh to update the status of my test and data replication. So you can see I have a green check mark. That means all tests passed. The user data storage status is good and my data replication is good as well. This concludes our deployment of our Session Manager OVA. We deployed our Session Manager OVA to our VMware environment. Then we configured the network settings and added our Session Manager to our System Manager by using the enrollment password we created. Next, we're going to upgrade our Session Manager to the latest release and we're also going to apply the latest security service pack. 